Hi, good evening viewers. I'm Andrew Gordon. Welcome to Four Charts. Fort is built in 1656, but it was first named Fort Cromwell. In that time period, it only had 36 guns when the Spanish were in rulership of Jamaica in the 16th century. However, in the 17th century, when the English came and took over from the Spanish, they then captured the fort, resized it, brought in more guns, so it moved from 36 guns to 104 guns, as well as they brought in soldiers that mounted to over 500. Here at Fort Charles, we have a quarter deck area called Nelson's Quarter Deck. We have two museums that's back this side called Horatio Quarters. We had some various points, however, a major tower that's back that side. Sailors would go up there, use their telescopes to see enemy ships out at sea. We also have a famous drug shop that's on back that side. The first half was used to store ammunition for the 36 guns that were here in, in Fort Charles and the other half was used as a jail cell to store misbehaving sailors. Where we are now is the Nelson's quarter deck. We can get a clear view as to where another fortification like Fort Charles named Fort James, where the famous Louis Gallo was a Frenchman. When Mr. Henry Morgan was in, in rulership here at Fort Charles, he was in rulership there at Fort James. Mr. Louis Gallo, a famous Frenchman. During the time of the 1692 earthquake, he was swallowed up by that earthquake and then spat out into the ocean on that side. However, he survived with just a few scars. He lived to tell the tale, but after that incident, he quickly finds religion. Coming to Fort Charles now, on your left, you pass a church. It's called St. Peter's Church. It was built by Mr. Louis Galdi and the famous James Clark in the year 1726. What the sailors would do is look there, use their binoculars as well as telescopes to view enemy ships out at sea at on that side as well as to get a view of the Kingston Harbour. So that was what it's used for in that time period. So here we are now, you will see a tree, a big large tree, it's called a guango tree. This guango tree is over 250 years old, yes? It was here during the time period of the earthquake of 1692 as well as when Mr. Horatio Nelson who was in rulership here at Fort Charles, yes in 1777 he was only 18 years of age and the first museum here he, this was his home in 1777 and the other museum that's here was his working office so however now on this side we have a famous grog shop it's called an admiral's grog shop yes on the grog shop you would see a plaque a billboard it's saying, you who tread his footsteps, you who tread his footsteps, remember his glory. That's the motto of Mr. Horatio Nelson. Those were called wine desks and chairs. Those were used for sitting on as well as for eating. Yes, but they were used to store wine as well because the sailors in those days loved rum. And rum was used as water. Yes, like how we use water today in the 21st century. Yes, that was used for wine in those century by the sailors who were here in Port Royal. Yes, here we are, it's called the corner point of the fort. Yes, and we normally carry visitors this section to show them that Fort Charles was built in the shape of a ship, as you can see here. This, where we are now, is the bow section. Yes, it shapes as a bow, so it was built as a ship. Reason being for that is to trick enemy ships out at sea. So when ships were out at sea, planning to loot here at Fort Charles, they would get an impression as if they were fighting or battling against a ship when it's a well firmly built fort. It was just built in the shape of a ship to trick enemy ships out at sea. That's the trick of Fort Charles. 